What up? It's your boy T Bear on Reaction. You already know what it is. It's time for the new episode of The Lesbian Homies 3. This is episode 7. Last week's episode was off the chain, especially the party scene right here. If you last left off, Eve was trying to slide back in with Bree, but Bree wasn't having it. Uh, Bruce, uh, Brucey threw parties with the homie, and with that, both E and Reese was standing on business, trying to, trying to see, see what the house is for, uh, for Bruce, man. Both of them looking lovey, but I gotta give it to Reese. We look lovey, and then at the, at the end of the party, while, while Bruce was, uh, cleaning things up, Reese came back and said, said she forgot something. So, and... John just posted this uncovered to see, to see more than that. There's uncovered of a certain scene on there for this episode on the website they play the show at. So, hmm, is it worth the money? Anyway, y'all let me know. But anyway, here it is Lesbian Homie Season 3, Episode 7. Let's get it to the masks. Let's get it. Hey, Luchu. y'all still doing up, man. It's the middle of the night. No. Y'all staying. It's literally is for me right now. Um, I had a lot to do. My business, bruh. Hey, check this out. No judging, all right? I just left baby girl's house, man. I gave her all she could handle. She tapped out. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm off the Bluetooth trouble, so she couldn't handle no more. So here I am going on to the next appointment, if you will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Got a lot more letter gear. That's I'm, all. I mad he's driving around in the, in the whole robe, though, with this whole thing. Go to Bluetooth.com and get your female supply. Type in the promo code, Ja. You know the rest, man. And after that, go to sleep, man. Get out of my business. Yeah, I will go sit on the buses. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know what you thought. Pulling up on me to snitch on another broad for doing the same sh you was doing with the exactly. same. Both y'all is dead to me. If Bree want to choose up on E, that's on her. But I ain't got to fight for Bruce. He want me anyway. There's another woman involved. Oh yeah, and she gay. Mm -hmm. How does that work? I don't know. You gotta ask old stud finder here. I want you to think about possibly choosing one of these ladies to do it. Doctor Greer, man, they both ghosted me, man. So I ain't got nothing to worry about. They in the win. You know that was unnecessary, right? Oh, shut up. Mm -hmm. Who was that? Tay's homegirl E from high school, Brittany Greiner. Yeah. That's her. Yeah. I know she was kicked up like that. Uh -huh. That's Ooh. a fun that dance. You might get a little bit more than that later. You alone? Yeah, um, it's just me here. Good, because I think I left it in your bedroom. Let's take a trip down memory lane. One time. One. Oh, that's how we start. I called you your name. No, you caught me, E. What? That doesn't sound like anything I would say. So I'm stupid now? You didn't just call me E. They E. Hold no. on. What? Nah, I didn't call you E. Hell no. They must be, they must be getting hit up by, by the, the, the foul language already because they ain't bleeping out the the, the, uh, the, the languages now. Because before you know, previous, they wasn't um, bleep, bleeping stuff out. Now they bleeping shit out now. Oh, I didn't call you E. I, I, I called you your name. So I'm just a dumb now. I must be insane. I heard what you said. I can't believe you got the audacity to call me that name. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Let's think about this. Ain't to think about. You called me E while we was Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Listen to me. I'm not gonna sit here and let you tell me I called you E's name, cause I didn't. What you say then? Huh? You heard me, what you say then? What's your name? How the f you gonna call me Reese? I'm f you, not her. My name is Reese, not E. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Reese, 
I didn't call you Reese. I, mean, I called you Reese. I didn't call you E. I said, Reese, you got three E's in your name. Like, Reese. That's what I said. <laughs> you think I'm one of these other goofy ass broads you f with, don't you? No, nah, see, I don't think you like any of them. That's not uh... what I meant. I meant something different than that. I think you're different. Way different. Different as You spent all this time blowing up my phone trying to get my attention. Just get me here and do this shit. You got me fed up. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You pulled up on me. I didn't know you was gonna be here. No, what's okay. going on? Hold on. What the hell's going on? What the hell's going on? I'm getting confused as fuck here. Literally. Shut the fuck up. Did he fuck both of them? You saying you was fed up about me? Yeah, yeah, I remember saying that. You said you wanted to pursue me. That's true. I do want to pursue you. If that's the case, why are you fing that? And you better not say no shit about hella yams or no goofy shit like that. I mean, she do got hella, hella yams, but you do too. I know you can't even get my name right. I can get your name right. Don't do that. It's E. See? Eh for Spanish. Bilingual. That's some whole shit. You could have kept it a buck and just said you wanted her. E, I wouldn't even make that mistake. You're E. You're not Reese. You ain't Reese. I wouldn't call you Reese. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> this is typical behavior. No, no. I want you. Then why the f you saying her name instead of mine? That's a good question. What the hell? If I called you her name. What the you hell? You ain't doing me no favors. What the if hell? If you wanted E, you should have just said so. You you heard something that you didn't hear, all right? So, all right, you gonna, you gonna trust me or your lying ears? That's why I f with girls. That's why I f with girls. Man, you a You a You know what, just listen, let's just talk about this, come here. Move, and when you see me in these streets, it's still you, Hey, right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So, he smashed both of them? He tried to smash both of them? What the hell? I'm sorry. Reese. Reese, this is what I said, though. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, what up? Come on. Was he banging on Reese? Or was he banging both of them at the same time? Like, not the same time, like different times. What the hell? That that first part had me confused as fuck though. Comment down below. What the what the hell? What about the final out, guys? I'm like, huh? No, she did! No! He did pay both of them! Well, try to! What, whatever! She gonna cast Tain uh, and Amber. Man, this whole Bruce. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Get your dick out of my sister! <laughs> So he was fucking. Who did he fuck? He, he fucked. That was different time. What the? He, the one, both of them came back different time. What the fuck? Anyway. Can you knock before you come in my room? Yo, E, it, it ain't what it looked like. It looks like you my sister. Facts. Okay, um, it's exactly what it looks like. But shit, I didn't want to do this without you. What? That ain't what I meant to say. It don't matter what you meant to say, you my sister, Tay. First of all, you should have not Second of all, you should have not Yep. E, I, I wanted to tell you, but I was just waiting for the right time. Man, this shit up. You up, she up. Man, everybody's up tonight. E, I promise you, we're food. more than just sex. No. Nah. I don't want to hear that. You gotta get the fuck on. I gotta leave, E. Get the fuck out before I drag you out this. She ain't playing. All right. Like I said, okay, they must got hit up by you two like crazy because they, they wasn't doing all this bleep before. What's going on? Let me know. I'll go. But, uh, you gotta turn around first because, uh, a dick out. <laughs> Before you do that, can you hand me my drawers right there, the red ones? She gonna do some foul shit. You ain't going nowhere. Thank you. E, Thank this you. is my man, like Thank I said. You. 
He ain't going nowhere, but Thank you, you are. So get the f up out my room and act like you got some respect around Thank you. Right. This is my house. Right. And we're going to do whatever the f we want because we grown. Thank you. E tripping. Ain't nobody scared of you, E. Right. Well, I keep saying this was a perfect pack. Person cast in for her and them be sisters. Man, f and your goofy was finna leave. I mean, he was scary. I mean, he is like six feet, six, six, David, seven foot. He stops. He's six feet, but still like six one, something like that. Man. I'm trying to figure this out. We're 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 we're, 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 we're come to a conclusion when we watch the rest. Cause yeah, overslept last night. Let me just freshen up right quick, and I'll be there. Don't worry about all that. I'll be there. I, right. I right, there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, d baby, I ain't even mean to wake you up. That's cool. I was getting up anyway. I'm for real. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, everything okay. That was my partner, Trav. We got this meeting I'm late to, so uh, I got to bounce in a minute. If you hear me. But I'll be right back. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> Naughty. What's up? Okay, Rob, I need you to be honest with me. And I'm not going to trip either way. I just want to know what's up. What's like, up? Are you seeing someone else? Nadia, no, I told you I don't want to see nobody else and I don't have the time to see nobody else but you. I told you I'm done running in the streets and I was dead serious. Where this coming from? I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like you've been saying you wanted me for years and now that we together, like, I don't know, you just, it just seems like you holding back. Nadia, I did want you and I do want you. I was just taking my time. I was trying to be slow. I did and I do want you. But I ain't think taking it slow is going to get you mad like this. I'm not mad, first of all. <laughs> but <laughs> what do you mean? I know my reputation might have been a little wild with the ladies. A little? Mm. All right, a lot. A lot. But I swear to God, you ain't like the mother girls I've been with. You different. You special. Come by to my house tonight and I'll cook you dinner. But Rob, you can't cook. Who can't cook? You can cook. Mm -hmm. We've grown up together. I ain't never seen you in or around anybody's kitchen. Because I didn't have to be in the kitchen. I was raised up with three ladies in the house. But your dad can cook. Who you think taught me? I don't cook much, but I can when I have a reason to. Oh, so I'm your reason to? Hell yeah, you my reason mm -hmm. too. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, so uh, 830, okay? Okay. Okay. 8.30, all right? Okay. Hmm. And no weenies. <laughs> you have an addiction, bro. Addicted to what? To women that don't like men. Lesbians, bro. Man, tell me how that makes sense, bro. It makes perfect sense. Matter of fact, you got two broads, you need to get a restraining order on now. What? Why? Because they're studs. And normally when a woman has a problem with a man, she calls her brothers to whoop his ass. But in this case, they're their own brothers. Oh, here we go. Jay, that's not funny. Yes. It's always crazy. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Look, man, when them hormone pills kick in and that new growth gets long enough for her barber to Pepe Le Pew her mustache, she gonna try you. She gonna be on your head. And she gonna boop up <laughs> like big hit. Except she ain't got nothing she can hit you with. It's always Craig. Every time I talk to you, bro, I realize I should. They're gonna break in your house and cut the sleeves off all your flannels. <laughs> the f are you talking about, bro? You need to be with a real woman. One that's not an L or a Q or any of them other letters in the alphabet that's not an S. Jay, I keep telling you, bro, I'm not choosing the studs on purpose. It just so happens that the last two chicks I dealt with happen to be lesbians. All right, and the last one I didn't even know was a lesbian until it was too late. I already started liking her. That's another thing. You need some help. Because the shit you're doing, different. 
You need to get your mind psychologically rinsed, washed, and rid of these low-down Lucy's, these lick em down Leanne's, these oh loquacious Lupitas. Jason, are you listening to anything I'm Yo, saying, bro? Jason's a fool. I'm not dating Whoa. lesbians by choice. Craig Whatever Smith. the case is, bro, I just want you to be happy like me. I have a regular straight woman that stresses me the f out with regular straight woman problems. Cramps, work husbands, nail fillings, wig appointments, you know, normal like that. You really think I need counseling? Definitely, brother. You date Hokomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh man, this this whole episode been alright, man. I don't even mind the bleeping right now, man. What you're dealing with is a scarcity effect. What's that? It's a psychological phenomenon that states that when you see something that is rare or desirable or expensive, your subconscious mind makes you think about it more than if you saw something that was more uh, abundant. I think you're it means that your subconscious uh, mind has tricked you into wanting psychic, something you can't psychologist. have. These are two women Therapist. you can't have. I, cat, bro. I've had them already. But have you? Yes, you slept with these women, but there hasn't been a consistent emotional or physical connection with either of them. Dr. Greer, bro. I didn't get with these chicks because they're lesbians. I got with them because they hella hella yammed up. Case galore. The Amazons. All right, one of them is <laughs> near my height. Yammy Tammy. The exactly. other one e. got porch patio combination is ridiculous. You. Patio stupid. Porch is even more stupider. You, bro, bro, he ain't never lied, man. Jesus Christ. Stuff is a. Well, Reese, we'll play Reese. Uh, Stephanie Nelson, aka uh, Persephone. She's, she's stacked. That lady stacked, yo, for real. Look, I had to oblige, you know what I'm saying? I'm the yam man, so I gotta get down <laughs> with the yams. Yeah. Those are nice names, Bruce. By the way, yes. But I'm sure it's because of what I said. I have degrees. Uh, I hear what you're saying, Doc. But I don't mm -hmm. really care about your degrees, bro. I know me. Do you know that there's a cognitive bias that makes you place a higher value on these women because they're scarce? What makes them scarce? How many men you see walking around here sleeping with lesbians? I mean, I, okay, you got a point there, but that's where we differ in opinion. Please explain. <laughs> I don't see them as lesbians. I see them as women. I'm an equal opportunity yamologist. All right, studs are still just women to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Just like my boy Jason always says, being a lesbian is like playing flag football. It's a lot of running around, a lot of activity, a lot of touch and go, but ain't nobody really getting hit. So why are you having issues with them? I will. You're having issues because they may be confused and frustrated. Confused and frustrated about what? Potentially their sexuality. They also could be frustrated because of their feelings regarding you. Have you ever thought that they don't like the fact that they like you? Nah, never even thought about that. I don't know these women, but it can't feel good to fall for someone like you. The f that's supposed to mean that? I'm speaking to them already making the firm decision to be lesbians before dealing with you. I have a lot of clients who are openly gay and coming out is paramount for them. I imagine this is like moonwalking back into a closet they never wanted to be in in the first place. Maybe you should stop thinking about the yams and start thinking about who they really are and how they match with you. If you really care about these women, you will leave them alone. And not just for you, for them. I should just be by myself then, huh? That's not a bad idea. Give yourself some time with yourself. Take Bruce out on a date. Pour into Bruce. Yeah. Girl, your man is crazy. Why? 
What did he do? <sighs> he went to Lashana house twice, Candace and Kiki house twice, and today makes three times at my place. Security told him they gonna call the police if he hops the gate one more time. He, he hopped the gate. Yes. Well, I hope you told him I wasn't here. Right? I told you, he hopped the gates. He was hiding in the laundry room and caught me while I was taking the dog out. I told him you weren't here, but he said he saw your car in my guest parking spot. He knows you're here. I'm sorry about all that. It's okay. But you're gonna have to talk to him eventually. Uh, no I don't. I'm not ever speaking to him ever again. I get it. Men are trifling. But you can't go on hiding in my guest room forever. He told me to tell you that he only needs five minutes of your time. When did he tell you that? Just now. He's outside? Yes. The door? I don't know. Outside the gates. He's still hiding from security. Why are you looking like that? I'm just saying, I don't remember the last time a popped the gates for me. <laughs> yeah, because you like crazy uh, No, I don't. Okay, maybe a little. Nonetheless, he's not going to leave until you talk to him. Baby. Baby. Over here. Stop hopping her gates. Okay, it won't happen again. I just, I just needed to speak with you. Okay, well you got five minutes, and they started twenty seconds ago. So go ahead. F I, I, okay, look, I'm just gonna get straight to it. Look, I was pissed off when you slept with that gate chick. Ah, no, you're not about to start this off blaming me. I'm not blaming you, baby. If you could just give me a second, I'll explain. I only got five minutes, right? Look, I slept with the chick, okay? There's nothing I can do to take that back. It happened. It only happened once. That's all it was, baby. And it's when we broke up. What, am I supposed to congratulate you for that? I just, I miss you. And I understand if you don't want to take me back, I'm not here for that. But if we're really done and you don't want me anymore, I understand, I'll take that. If you can just allow me a week to gather my things, I'll be out the house. But you need to come home. Just know I love you, and I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, here we are. Your time is up. Stop. I'm back. I'm gonna have to edit our. Uh, so I know my mic got uh, cut. I stop. St I stop right here because I know my mic was cut off. Anyway, I get it. That I get what she's trying to say. But at the same time, this is around the time she was a uh, mess with Reese and broke up, and they was broken up. So he he was supposed to not do something. I mean, y'all was broken up. I mean, just saying. So it shouldn't be a big deal. But I guess. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, all right, Jay. I told you earlier, 
You ain't like any other woman I've been with. You smart. You beautiful. Health conscious. And you beautiful. You said that already. I know. I had to say it again. Mm -hmm. I feel like you the woman God created me for. Mm. A once in a lifetime type love. Uh. And if I want to have this love for a lifetime, I have to take my time. Because everything about you is something special. And that's just how I see it. Go ahead, boy. See, look at that. <laughs> Go ahead, boy. Even your smile is something blessings are made of. What's that? I'm serious. That's how I really feel. Now, do you understand why I haven't tried anything with you? Right. Yeah, I do. Good. Right. Come here. This okay? Yeah, it is. Let's go. Let's go, y'all two. I'm here. I'm here for it. Yes. This was a solid episode. The soundtrack's been banging. The soundtrack. The soundtrack's been banging all the time. Yo, this been a solid episode from beginning to end. You know, the beginning was a little confusing at first, but this was a solid episode. I I love it. Every single part of it. And like I said. That boy Craig, he always that was always Craig, yo. Anyway, I can't see what we're next week. Y'all, let me know. It's worth me paying a little extra to see the the uncensored and all that. I mean, I don't mind. I first of all, I was like, I was like I gotta get used to bleeping, but at the same time, I get it. I mean, you two can be a be a can can be a you know whatever. But other than that, um, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel as well too. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.